place is wicked, right on the river. Just started our first fire of the trip. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Now we just gotta find more wood. The neighbors over there in the shack just come gave us a whole bag of firewood. And I just got the, uh, I'm gonna christen the charcoal. Uh, cast iron cooker. here eating our dinner and these two kookaburras just come snatch our beef straight out of the pan so we gave it to them there was one to begin with <laughs> now there's two morning number four swan reach takeaway river view just filled up with fresh potable water and today we're moving to Hogwash. Hopefully there's a site there. We forgot it's a weekend. You don't get that all the time, do you? Mm. Forgot mum was picking up her new car today, so we just done a FaceTime whilst we sat and ate breakfast at Swan Reach. And they done the unveiling of the new car with us. Looks so good. No way, I was leaving without them, my favourite. Oh, the first pint of the trip. And I'm not a big drinker. But when the sun's glaring like this, poo. Camp number four. You hungry, babe? Mm. <laughs> Some of the food was going out of date soon, so we do a massive cook up and then we'll wrap it in our foil and chuck it in the fridge. So this will be food for the next couple of days, I reckon, lunchtime. All right, Leisha's doing a little cook up. Once again, week one van life. We bought too much food and it all needs to be eaten. So we're doing a cook up. What are you doing, babe? Chicken, creamy, pesto, with tomato. <laughs> and I'll probably put some beef mints in from last night as well. But all this is gonna just be kept in the fridge in little containers, so that's, as long as it's cooked, then it can be fridged. Mm, yum. <laughs> I don't know what you've whipped up here, <laughs> but it smells good. And it looks probably cheap. tastes amazing too. All right, so the weekend campers have started to head off. So we've just pulled down onto the beach where we got full sunlight. So now the solar panels will be loving life and the batteries will be topped up today. Absolutely blowy to the fact that it almost blowy. snapped my awning off the hinge. So we're doing a cook up. Pesto, pasta with chicken and cream. Two separate ones. What's the other one? Um, chicken creamy pesto and pesto and olive oil. Nice. I went to put the warning out before because it was hell sunny and the wind got hold of it and it kind of didn't bend the actual frame of the awning but it kind of bent where it lays along the roof. So I've got to get some clamps out and bend it back. Not really an issue, but I'm just OCD. 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Could think of better places to be, but unfortunately this is what we've got to deal with and uh, there's no complaints with that.
Jack. Are you Jack to me? I went down Virginia seeking shelter from the storm. I'm caught up in the table. I watch the towers grow. Five-year plans in a deal. Alright, so you guys know how fussy I am with water. This is best water filters. It's probably one of the better ones. It's got silver safe elements in it. So fluoride's the main issue for me. I don't care about all the bacteria I'm made of steel, but the fluoride calcifies your pineal gland and dumbs you down. So hopefully, which I don't know if it will, but anyway, we're on the road. It is what it is. It is what it is. Right, second shop. Didn't really need to do it, but we're doing it whilst we're in town. What was it? $126? Yeah. And that's and anyway. probably for a week or more. Um, that's with washing detergents and all of the above. And um, I bought a six pack of Super Crips. This is why we love Australia. This is like a full organic gourmet food place but with all organic natural deodorants and soaps and I just got this tallow balm for free Alicia filled up her bottle with natural body wash I got a bottle of natural body wash and they're just so cheap and so woke to what's going on in the world it's amazing they even had ghee and organic everything Currently Golden Hour in Wakeree. We're strolling to the pub, have a feed, have a couple of beers, watch the sun go down, get back in the van and edit this next video. We've kind of been a bit all over the place, so we had a farm stay at my mate's dairy farm. Then we went and had a couple days along the river, met a two nice couples who were traveling Australia as well. Met them, camped up with them for two, two or three days. Had a nice bonfire. Didn't film too much there, to be honest. Bit of, bit of training, done some exercise. Taught Alicia a little bit on holding pads and boxing. Done a bit of fishing, but mostly just relaxed and had no service really. So just enjoyed being off our phones. Have a look at that. Which is better, the woman? Or the sunset. Wednesday morning, eight days in. From the Wakery silos all the way to the Taylorsville Ferry. Look at the views from this place. This is living. Windy, so we've just been walking all morning. We walked for like two hours, done a little hike, and now we just popped into Mitre Town and got some necessities tire gauge, some sealant in case we get a leak, sponges, volt meter, and some bolts to run through the bed to support the bed channels a bit more. Have a look at this, guys. This is what traveling's all about. We just left Wakeree and we needed a site that had the wind coming from behind us so we could fish and we just pulled into this national park near Kingston which we didn't even have planned and look at this site we found we've got a rope swing professionally made with a two and a half ton rack we've got a platform built into the tree beautiful bank for catching carp fire pit Driving board. <laughs> Can't get any better. And 
crystal clear water and the wind's coming that way. So we've parked the van behind us. So we've got a windbreak as well. Ta-da! Glory to God. Glory to God. Four rumps. Forgot about them in the bottom of the fridge. They're off as. Seriously. For everyone wondering what we're using as a heater, organic beeswax candles and a metal teepee. And the heat this thing actually emits is, it's actually enough to heat this whole van within half an hour and take the chill out of the air. Just help this lady back her caravan in. Look at this. That's all via remote. That is amazing. Amazing. Have a look at this. Alicia has mastered it again. <laughs> what do you call that one, babe? I don't even know. I just made it up. And look at the sunset out the window. You are kidding. Have a look at this. In Barmer, down that alleyway. Barn me roll. Chili, coriander, roast pork, crackle. And it's actually primo.